Hey, I'm Adam Jesko from ProudMoney.com, and in this video, I'm going to talk about a hidden gem credit card issuer, and that is Signature Federal Credit Union. But before I talk about them, I would ask you to please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not already. And if you have already, I thank you for doing so. So I've been aware of Signature Federal Credit Union for a little bit, but I have never really done a deep dive into all of their credit cards. Uh, and I just have over the last few days. And they have a very interesting credit card portfolio uh, in the fact that they have pretty good cards, both on the high end for people with excellent credit, but also some very uh, uh, interesting novel and good cards on the lower end of things too. People that are building credit or maybe... Uh, you know, don't have necessarily a great credit history. There are also some cards that uh, that you might be interested in hearing about too. So I'm going to run down four different cre uh, credit cards from Signature Federal Credit Union, from the high end, the excellent credit, down to the building rebuilding end. So the first card I'm going to talk about on the excellent credit end is the Signature Federal Credit Union Visa Signature. So you get Signature on one end and then signature on the other end. Uh, the Visa Signature Card, it offers a flat 2% cash back rate on everything that you purchase with the card, which puts it right up there with the best flat cash back cards on the market. The City Double Cash, the PayPal Cash Back MasterCard in particular are the ones that I generally talk about. But the thing that is so even more interesting about this card is while it has that 2% flat cash back, it also has a crazy low interest rate of only 8.7% as of the making of this video. So you're getting the best of both worlds. You're getting uh, you know, a cashback rate that is really top of market and you're getting an interest rate that is way below market, which leads me to believe that probably not everyone is going to get uh, you know, accepted for this card. You probably have to have a pretty high credit score. It also has no foreign transaction fees. So just a really, really good card which means you know everyone would want it if uh, you know everyone could have it. So you probably have to have a very good uh, credit score for it. But if you do have a very good credit score and that sounds good to you, that is uh, uh, definitely a card for you to consider. Now I'm going to go and look at the cards sort of on the other end of things for people that don't have as much of a credit history or maybe trying to build a credit history for the first time, rebuild a credit history. Uh, so the next card I'm going to look at is called the First Start Visa Gold. And they say that this is a card for building credit. It is a card that has a credit line of between $250 and $1,000. Uh, the interest rate range here goes from 10.9 to 15.9. So even if you got the worst interest rate they were offering in here, you're still at 15.9, which is a uh, great interest rate. Now, again, I should say I never suggest that you should uh, you know, carry a balance on it any of your cards. I'm only pointing these out because they're so much lower than most everything else uh, on the market that if you were someone that carried a balance, it would, wouldn't be nearly as painful as it would be for you know many of the other cards out there. So anyway, uh, interest rate between 10.9 and 15.9 on this one. No foreign transaction fees. And then it says after a year, you could apply for an upgrade and a higher credit line. So I don't know exactly what you need in terms of credit score here, but to me, this card sort of feels like the uh, you know super great version of the Capital One Platinum or other cards that give you a very limited credit line and don't have any rewards or anything. Same as this one, except the fact that this one has a crazy low interest rate. So this is a card that you know potentially, if you were someone that did carry a balance from time to time, uh, you know this would be something that uh, you know could be attractive to you. And they are saying that after a year, you potentially could be upgraded and uh, you know get one of their better cards, or at least maybe get a larger credit line here. Now, uh, they don't, unless you get up to the card I talked about already with the excellent credit, their other rewards cards are not all that interesting, but this could be a way for you to uh, build credit with a decent card with a low uh, interest rate. And then, you know, maybe you go off and get a credit card somewhere else because maybe you probably still wouldn't be uh, at a place where you get that visa signature yet, I wouldn't think. But anyway, an interesting card if you're someone that's building credit. Another card to consider if you are someone who is in sort of that middle tier, you're not qualifying for a ton of things and that Capital One Platinum seems like, uh, you know, the place that so many people start from. This uh, first start visa from Signature Federal Credit Union could be another option. Now, the next card I'm going to talk about is uh, a card that I had a hard time wrapping my head around so much so that I called them and got someone on the phone and asked them the question and they had to put me on hold twice in order to make sure that they were, uh, you know, understood it well enough, uh, you know, to 
be giving me the right information. Anyway, this is called the Share Secured Visa. So it is a secured credit card. It's got no annual fee, which is great for a secured credit card. You deposit uh, $500 and you get a $500 credit line. The interest rate is uh, anywhere from 11.9 to 16.9. Again, great interest rate, very low for a secured card. You're not going to uh, you know, get that with other secured cards on the general market. So even right off the bat, you have a no annual fee card with a very low interest rate great numbers for a uh, secured credit card. And if you don't know just very quickly the way a secured credit card works is you put down a security deposit in order to get the card. You use it just like a regular credit card. You pay it off every month and uh, you know hopefully it helps you to build credit and hopefully you can then get to a place where you get your deposit back and you can continue to use it like a regular credit card or you could get upgraded to a uh, you know credit card that maybe has rewards and has a higher credit line and all that sort of stuff. But you have to put a security deposit down in order to get secured cards and then you get that security deposit back at some point, assuming that you have paid your bills and hopefully you've built your credit in the meantime. So anyway, that's what this is. It is a secured credit card, uh, you know, with no annual fee and a very nice interest rate. Now, what is interesting about it, none of that seemed all that confusing probably, the thing that is interesting about it is they say on their website, and this is why I called them to try to get clarification, they say, well, if you don't have the security deposit, and they say it in better marketing words than I'm saying it right now, but basically they say, if you don't have the security deposit, what we will do is sort of front you the security deposit and let you pay it off, even though we will charge you interest on it, and that way you don't have to come up with 500 bucks in order to get the credit card. And for a lot of people, the, uh, you know, the downside to a secured credit card is that you have to come up with the money to put down as a deposit. And that's just to get a card that, you know, gives you a, uh, you know, credit line that is the exact same amount as that deposit. So some people don't like that aspect of it. Now, this card, what it does is, and hopefully I'm going to explain this, uh, you know, in a way that makes sense. Basically, what it does is you don't have to give them the $500 necessarily. You probably should because it would be easier if you can do it. But if you can't do it or you really don't want to, what you can do is they basically will give you the card and it will have a $500 balance on it. So it's almost like you've got a credit card. It's got a $500 balance and you can't even use it yet, which doesn't sound so good. But what they're doing is they're getting you that credit card you start to pay off that balance. And basically what you're doing is you're sort of paying off the security deposit in order to get yourself to a place where you then have that security deposit and you can start to use the card. So basically all they're doing is instead of you saving the 500 bucks on your end before you get the card is they are letting you, you know, sort of pay off that $500 deposit and sort of, you know, it's almost like a forced saving things, you, savings thing. You keep giving them the money and it, uh, you know, it builds up that security deposit. Now you can actually use the card once you start to pay into that security deposit, even if you haven't paid the complete 500 bucks. So let's say, you know, you've given them 200 bucks, you now have $200 over here in your security deposit. You actually can start to use the card up to that $200 mark even though you still owe them some more money to get to that full $500 security deposit. So you still have to pay the security deposit. It's just a different way to do it. And of course, there is interest on it if you do it this way versus saving up 500 bucks on your end and then giving it to them in order to get the card. So you have to take that into consideration. But I thought it was sort of a novel way to handle it for you know people that want to get the card and maybe feel like they won't save up that 500 bucks on their end maybe you could uh, you know, kind of have them front you that a little bit and then you pay in to get to that $500 uh, deposit. So hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, please uh, you know, question me down in the comments of this video and I will try to uh, explain it better. But I thought it was a pretty interesting uh, card. Now, anyway, the fourth card here from the Signature Federal Credit Union that I want to talk about, there's not a lot to say about it, but it's a good card because it is a student credit card and uh, it is a Visa card, it doesn't have any rewards, but like many of these other cards, or like all of these cards that I've just talked about, it has a very low interest rate. So if you are a student, many times there are cards on the market that will accept you, but the interest rates are not very good. And while I always say that you should pay off 
your complete balance every month. I think students in particular have a tendency at some point to carry a balance. For this card, there are no rewards attached to it, but you have an interest rate range of 7.99 on the low end and on the high end, and I hate to even sit, call it the high end, on the high end, you would have a 12.99% interest rate. So this is a student credit card with an extremely low interest rate range. While you're not getting any rewards from it, it would be a way for you to start uh, establishing credit as a student with a card that has a very low interest rate. So anyway, those are the four cards in particular that I found interesting from the Signature Federal Credit Union, especially for those people I think who are building credit, whether you're a student or uh, not. There's some great cards there. Obviously, the uh, the two percent cash back card is very good as well. Now, the uh, thing I think the trepidation that some people have with credit unions always is. You know, I have to apply to become a member and all that kind of stuff in order to, uh, uh, you know, get access to their cards. The Signature Federal Credit Union is one of those uh, credit unions that really sort of gives what I call a backdoor uh, to allow pretty much anyone to be part of the credit union. So while they do have some what they would consider, you know, general membership stipulations in terms of certain groups or whatever that you have to be a part of, they do give this sort of like backdoor that says, okay, if you're not part of any of those groups, we can uh, also set you up by doing this other thing where you become a member of this other nonprofit and then you become a member of our credit union at the same time. So it's one of those kind of uh, things where it is a credit union. There is a membership required, but it is an easy uh, credit union to become a part of. And you can check that out on your own if you're interested in any of these credit cards. So that's it. As always, thanks for watching. Please go to proudmoney.com where we do credit card reviews and have personal finance news and all sorts of other fun stuff too. Thank you for watching. Bye.